Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I would beg on you to not forget to subscribe. I want to be your friend and your prayer partner. And please, if you have a prayer request, you have a prayer point, you want to pray, you want to share with somebody, you want to pray with me, I would direct you. You can go to my about, get there. You're going to find my email address. You can send me that particular prayer request. I want to keep praying with you and let's pray forget, uh, together. Hallelujah. And forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You've been family of God. You know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord rewards your consistency, bless you, uplift you, do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The prophetic word says you have been choosing, you have been specifically choosing to be the first. Oh, shatala ben go sikata. You have been specifically choosing to be the first person to do this. I say it again. You have been specifically choosing to be the first person to do this. Now, so many people do not understand what is happening. So many people do not understand what is going on. You know, there are families that have seen responsibilities on first bonds. I've seen responsibilities on second bonds. I've seen responsibilities on last bonds. And whatever position that you find yourself in your family, you must understand that God does not give responsibilities according to how you came. God gives responsibilities based on who you are and how he sees you. So how God sees you is the way that he's going to give you a responsibility. If the Lord sees you as somebody who is up to the tax, he's going to give you. Now, God does not use the qualified. He uses the available. So the only way you can prove to the Lord that you're available, you're, you're up to the tax, is by you availing yourself. God, I'm available. There are so many people who have been called to be leaders. There are so many people who have, who have authority on them. There are so many people who have callings on them, but they are not available to work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They are not available to work. They have authority. They have, they have a lot in them, but they are not available to work. The Lord has called you. And he's choosing you specifically to be amongst the first. Pastor, I'm just the last one in my family. The Bible says, Jeremiah, I'm going to tell you what God has chosen you to become the first about, okay? I'm going to explain that to you. The Bible says, Jeremiah was five years old. And then the Lord called him and then Jeremiah told the Lord, he said, God, I'm still just five years old. And the Lord says, yes. I understand that you're just five years old, but the Lord says, I will put my words in your mouth. I'm going to use you. I will do what no man can do in your life. So that really made me understood that God will not even look at your age. He will not even look at the position in your family. He will not even look at the position in your society. How old was Joseph? He was a little boy. His brothers were elders to him. And the Bible says God called Joseph. At that point in time, he was the second to the last one. He was the second to the last one. The Lord called Joseph to be a leader. He explained it to his brothers. They did not buy the idea. They were not even in a one accord with him because they were so jealous. How can we be the firstborn? How can I be the second? How can I be older than you? And then the Lord wants to use you instead to do amazing things. My dear friend, you must get to the understanding that who God is using, he's already using. There is somebody who comes today and the Lord establishes them. There is another person who has been there for a long time and nothing happens in their lives. And that is one thing you must understand about life. You must understand that God's grace is different. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says God is just and he's faithful enough. That is what the Bible says. He's just and he's faithful enough. Oh, so God is just, and he's choosing somebody over me. Everybody has a plan that rules their lives. If you would remove your eyes on what God is doing in somebody else's life and stop thinking that the Lord chose them over you and put yourself and say, God, 
I congratulate and celebrate this person. What are you doing about my own life? You will notice that where you are in your place of purpose is always the best. You will notice that where you are, where God has placed you, is always the best. God has chosen you to be the first person in your family to be very wealthy. The Lord has chosen you to be the first person in your family to become a servant of God. God has chosen you to become the first person in your to, to be the first person in your family to travel abroad. God has chosen you specifically to be the first person in your family to build a house, to buy a car, to buy lands, to own properties. It doesn't matter if you were born yesterday. If the Lord chooses you, then it's on you. When the mantle falls on you, then it's on you. I say it again. When the mantle falls on you, then it is on you. The Lord has chosen you. Things will never be the same again. Things are changing in your life. Things are taking a new direction, a new turn. When the Lord chooses you, then he is for you. You're asking yourself, how do I go about this? What do I do about this? You just need to avail yourself to God in that say to say it. I say it again. You just need to avail yourself to God in that say to say it. God has chosen you. And do not let this opportunity to pass you by. If you have been watching up to this extent, type it on the comment section as you connect yourself. Say, Lord, I'm ready. Say it again. Say, Lord, I'm ready. Say it again for the last time. Say, Lord, I'm ready. In the name of Jesus. That is all what you need to do. Tell the Lord you are ready. And you will watch God do amazing wonders in your life. You will watch the Lord change your life drastically. Things would be as never before in your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May you fulfill purpose. May you fulfill your calling. May you become that which the Lord has said you will become. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I would beg on you, do not forget to pray for me. Can you intercede for me? Thank you so much. As the Spirit of the Lord leads you to. And please, I beg on you, do not forget to share the video. Always make it a habit to share what blesses you. You don't know who might get blessed when this video reaches out to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I do. If nobody ever tells you how much they love you, I, Ethel, I'm telling you right now that I love you so, so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly. And God bless you abundantly. Shalom.